What's going on, fellow band critics? I'm Steven, and today, right now, we're about to look at Miles versus Alabama's fifth quarter from 2000. 18. The footage we're about to see in here is courtesy of Killer Care Productions. There'll be a link down in the description below as well as in the cards at the top. Be sure to go watch the original clip so you can see it in its entirety without any of my interruptions. This is a producer request and this producer left no name and said this was better than the Boombox Classic that year. Bruh. Stop it. Get some help. Do you believe it? I don't. <laughs> But let's find out. There are chapter markers down in the description so you can go skip ahead to the review portion where I go section by section. We're gonna score the band zero to five immediately after they play. With these two bands, it's no telling what's gonna happen. So sit back and relax. Grab your popcorn and snacks. And without any further ado, let's do what it do. On June 12th, 2023, seven high school marching bands, McNair, Redan, Columbia, Stevenson, Palm Beach, Jonesboro, and the current champions, New Manchester, will compete to win the biggest marching band prize of the year. The Scalade Band Media Package. This package includes a promotional video for your band program, a recording session that will provide your band with both video and audio files, and a concert performance video where the Scala TV team comes and record a concert band performance. Seven bands, four rounds, one winner. The second annual Scalade Battle Bands Virtual Competition starts Monday, June 12th, 2023. We're starting off at Alabama calling Miles a bitch. Jesus, okay. <laughs> Okay, we counting that one? If we are, we want to give that one a four. <laughs> that Alabama Let's Get Hype song. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Now there's, it's Miles and Luckway at Alabama Stadium. And Miles gonna play a march. Sound pretty decent with the march, nothing spectacular. The dancers are ready to dance. Yay, Miles! They're just to play in the march. Yay! All right, it's a three. (laughs) 
We'll talk about it at the review, but yeah. Okay. Here we go. Back to AAMU. Let me know down in the comments what's the rivalry like between Miles and Alabama a and I have no idea really. All right, we get that on a four. It's a four for Alabama. All right, here we go, Miles. Let's see if they're gonna play another march. Let's do it, Miles. Woo! <laughs> Have a lot of tubas. Okay. Not bad. Nice sound, lower brass. Stay clean, tubas. Oh, okay, wow. Well, give that one a four. That's a four for Miles. Good job, good job. Back to Alabama. I think, I can't tell which band is actually louder, but we'll talk about that in the review section. Now this is that song from Jackie Brown, for those who know what movie that is. Nice job, Tubas. Look good, Flags. And we see if there's symbols. <laughs> Oh, trombones. Hundred and Tenth Street. <laughs> nice, nice job. Okay. 
Okay, all right, we'll get that one a four. That's a four for Alabama. All right, here we go, Miles College. Sitting way up there in the stands. Uh-oh. I remember the thong song came out. Sound good, Baritone. <laughs> I see you, ladies. <laughs> Come on, flags, do something. Okay, that's a four. Wasn't that bad, but goodness gracious. <laughs> that's a four for Miles. All right, here we go. Another Cisco song. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> What's Cisco doing? Anybody know? Nice job, Tomo. Wait, is this Drew Hill? Is Beauty's her name? Is that Drew Hill or Cisco? Drew Hill? Cisco's in all of it, so yeah, it's still him. I enjoyed that one. So I'll get that on a five. So I had some nice feeling behind it. It was cool. Oh, wow. All right, Miles. <laughs> we hear you, Baritones.
Come on, tubas. Oh man, tubas. Oh dear. <laughs> Let's write that down. <laughs> Dang. Come on, Tubas, you can do it. No, you can't. Nope. <laughs> Try it again. Here we go. Okay, almost. Almost. <laughs> almost in there. I gotta use a light tongue and don't play that part so loud, you know. It's, it's a nice part though. Yeah. <laughs> That's a four. It's a four for Miles. The only thing was that tuba line. It wasn't bad. It was just a lot of tubas trying to play that part. So that's a four. Okay, here we go. <laughs> nice sound, tubas. We see you down here, divas. That soft thigh slap at the end there. <laughs> nice sound, Ben. Making sure I can read my own handwriting later. Hmm. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Get down to four. It's a four for Alabama. Going to Miles. Oh. I don't know if Killer Kev just hit somebody with the camera there. Everyone watch out. All right, here we go, Miles. I think Miles is louder. I think so, but we'll see. Nice trombones. Yeah. Nice job, Ben. Sounds real good. Good job, Trumpet. What's the name of this song? It sounds pretty good. I'm familiar with it, but I'm not. I don't know the name. I barely know the name of the song, really.
just another R&B tune. <laughs> Nice tubers. Okay, it's not bad. You can give that one a five. Good job, Miles. That sounded really good. Yeah. Okay, Alabama. <laughs> Did I hear that kid screaming? That's all you need is tubas and trombones. All right, Divas, see down there those hair flips. Okay, I'm starting to see them here. That's a four for Alabama. Good job, but we'll talk about it in the review section. Chapter markers down in the description if you want to skip ahead. But I'm starting to notice something here. All right, here we go. Miles, let's go. I'm not that familiar with Miles' dance team, but not too bad, but the Divas got y'all, hands down. I like this song, it sounds really good. <laughs> I don't know what y'all saying though, it sounds good. Okay, all right.
know you all hear a difference. If you hear the difference that I hear, comment down below. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. I'll give that one a four. It's a four for Miles. <laughs> Nice job, nice job. I know this song. Okay, all right, I'll give that one a five. I know that one. <laughs> nice job, Alabama. All right, <laughs> a little technical song there. All right, here we go, Miles. I appreciate the dynamics, man. Nice sound, trombones. Okay. Nice chords. Come on, Ben, you're almost there, almost there. Okay, that's the ending right there. Hmm, very interesting. Kind of dragged out a bit, but I'm gonna give it a five, though, because it did have some good feelings, some good parts. We'll talk about it more at the end, but that's a five for Miles. Here we go, Alabama.
Do y'all feel hype? Listening as an audience member? Look at the crowd down here. Alabama's trying to hype everybody out. How do y'all feel? Is it working? Let's find out. And that's how it stops, just like that. Oh man, okay, I'll get down to four. <laughs> All right, Miles. Okay, I'm gonna go with it. Miles, the band has better dynamics than Alabama. Okay. Feels that Miles dragged things out a bit too long. Just like that much too long. We have a rogue trumpet. <laughs> It looked like all the band directors are yelling at a trumpet player. I hope that's what's going on. <laughs> the best band in Alabama. Okay. Get down to five. It's a five for miles. <laughs> Come on, Alabama. What is this? <laughs> Yeah, both bands sound pretty good, but it's going to come down to something we'll talk about at the end, though. Yeah.
Okay. All right, all right. Get down to four. Waiting for that energy to come through. It's the fourth Alabama. Here we go, Miles. Miles, so I'm not getting more powerful as the night goes on. This sounds like one of those filler songs, you know what I mean? Like, here's a song to play, to fill some time. <laughs> yeah, Miles is eating up Alabama when it comes to dynamic contrast, big time. On the flip side, I think Miles' flags are in trouble or something. They're just sitting there like high schoolers in trouble. <laughs> Not bad, it's a four. It's just something to play. Sounded good. Really no energy behind it. Good job, Miles. All right, here we go, Alabama. What we got? Oh my God, Toodles. <laughs> Everything sounds pretty good. By pretty good, I mean there's no energy behind it. Look at the audience, look at the band, hear how it sounds. Do you all feel like it's energetic? Let me know, comment down below, because it doesn't seem like it to me right now. It's like Alabama's just going through the motions, trying to get through. That's what it feels like, where miles seem like they're cranking up more and more as the fifth quarter continues. Okay, that, that should have ended, you know, because I feel like, are you going to bring the energy back down? Or when you all come back in, it's going to be even more powerful. Like, look at the guy on the ladder. Like, come on, hype it up, hype it up. Woodwind's looking tired. <laughs> Not bad, it's a four. It's a four for Alabama. I think Miles smells blood in the water.
Okay, okay. Have to give that one a five. It was clean, had dynamics. Nice job, Miles. What's happening? Okay, Miles. I think they said. You already got two ass in your name. You got another one night, Willie. If you're an ass whooping all night. Your name's Illy. Thank you. You ain't got no double. We'll holler back. Take that shit back to Fairfield High School. Appreciate that, 205. You're an ass whooping all night. Don't y'all ever got there. <laughs> what is going to happen? It looks like Alabama AM has left. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Wake up, Willie! <laughs> <laughs> you Uncle Willie, son! <laughs> <laughs> That's Killer Cav comes through the crowd here, getting closer to Miles College. Looks like Miles about to play again to solidify their win in this um, fifth quarter from what the score is probably looking like here. <laughs> I hear your woodwinds. This song sounds mean. Ooh. Comment down below, which band do you think won this fifth quarter? <laughs> We see you up there, symbols. I'm gonna give that one a five. Oh, to come back in. The energy. <laughs>
<laughs> nice sound, tubas. See, now that the camera's closer, I can clearly hear that Miles was louder. Yeah. Final five has some good energy with that one. Okay. Okay, I believe that's it. Looks like it. If you love bands like I do and enjoy my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more super awesome, great kick ass content. Alright, so there you have it. That was Miles versus Alabama AM back in 2018, the fifth quarter. All right, so you saw the scores on the screen and let's go through it. Alabama A&M wrote down some stuff here. Here we go. Alabama A&M had a nice full sound. They had some pretty good song selections. Right there around two, I noticed something there's a little bit of a dexterity problem that was going off the trombones. You all had a nice big powerful sound, great articulation, but when those slides start moving, weaknesses were exposed. I think the coolest song that both bands played of the night was with Alabama a when they played the Drew Hill song, Beauty Is Her Name, because it had the biggest crowd response. So I think that was a good job. Nice. But to round that off real quick with Alabama a and I have to say the biggest thing was it was lacking dynamics compared to Miles College and overall lacking energy. It seemed like Alabama a was getting more tired as the night was going on where Miles was getting more and more amped up. So there's that. For Miles, also wrote down some things. So here we go. The march that Miles plays, it was kind of like a meh. Just very whatever. Sounded kind of high schoolish and there was really no dynamics or anything with it, so it's kind of like, okay. From what I heard, Miles' lower brass was a lot stronger and their dexterity was better because when they had runs and was moving, they sounded just as clear and as powerful as they did when they was playing the whole notes and things like that. The only problem with the lower brass was the tubas. You sounded very messy on that run, particularly in whatever song I was talking about when you all had that tuba break and there was some run right there in the middle. That was pretty messy. Other than that, everything else, cohesiveness for brass was a lot better sounding in Miles Band versus Alabama's. Featuring one rogue trumpet <laughs> that seemed to slip through the cracks every now and then. When it comes to dynamics, all the songs that Miles played seemed to have way more dynamics than Alabama, just in general. Miles was louder when they want to be louder than Alabama and softer when they want to be softer. So great job with dynamics, Miles College. Miles, your songs seem to drag a bit, meaning like, okay, tuba break was a bit too long, and sometimes we was listening to one song and it felt like I started thinking about something else because it just kept going and going and I wasn't even tuba break and then it kind of changed up a bit. It's like, oh yeah, they're playing a song then went back to the thing. But other than that, that was about it. I felt like the songs just dragged out and they were a bit too long to hold the attention of myself, which is probably going on with other people too. Good stuff about Miles, they had way more energy than Alabama. The song sounded like it, the band felt like it, and when you just looked at them, they looked like it. So that was good. And overall, for those who like this kind of stuff, I would say that Miles was louder. That had stuff to do with the placement of the bands too, because in that stadium, I've been there, the away side, the bands are up higher and it's like they're further away from the field, whereas Alabama's home side, they're further down in the stands and it seems like they're closer to the field to be honest so that also has a lot to do with the sound when it comes to volume and what we were hearing with the recordings when killer cab walked over closer to miles they were clearly louder so there's that <laughs> here are the score section by section here we go for percussion miles five alabama five tubas miles four alabama four trombones miles five alabama four baritones both get a five mellophones both get a four Trumpets both get a four, woodwinds both get a four, and dancers, we're gonna give Miles a four and Alabama a five. And that right there will bring both totals to 35 out of 40. So there you have it. I think both bands sounded equally as good, but Miles just had the edge when it comes to just overall performance. I think that energy 
was there. The song selection for both bands was there. And this has been my complete analysis of this 2018 fifth quarter between Miles and Alabama. Which band was your favorite? Which band was not your favorite? If you were a senior and you were choosing which band to go to based off of this performance, which band would you go to? Do you agree with the scores that I gave? Or do you not? Let me know. Comment down below. Peace. Peace.